is. Okay. Um, hey guys, welcome back to Crop Fish for Life, and you get eye level here. <clears throat> you notice I have glasses on. That's because I'm ready for bed. I wear contacts, yes. And um, <clears throat> today I'm going to be showing you how to put together, clean, and make sure you care the right way for a trombone. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I wanted to do a trombone video and I just got a new trombone and I wanted to show how I clean it. So, let's get started. Trombone back here. You can see that. So let's get out what we're gonna need. Obviously, we're gonna need my mouthpiece. We're going to need a spray bottle. We're going to need this wonderful thing called Slide of Mix, Slide O Mix, tuning slide grease, a mouthpiece brush, a polishing cloth. A grease cleaning cloth and then under here we have more storage we're going to need a snake rotor oil and that's so that is what you need for my trombone some of you might instead of using the slido mix you might use a trombotine or any kind of slide grease, but if you use the slide mix, it's really easy. Now, I'm not going to be quite showing you everything on how to do this because it's pretty much clean, but um, I'll tell you what you need and what you would do. So, first, let's assemble the trombone to show you how to do this. Now, you want to take the slide, you got your water key, and you have the taller pipe up here with the screws placed on it. And you're going to take the bell, and you're going to place the bell on that larger screw, and you're going to screw that on tight to make sure it doesn't, you know, move around. Then you're going to take your mouthpiece, hopefully um, it's either small or large bore, which, or a shank or whatever. This is a uh, Schilke 51D. It has a deeper bowl and it's a large shank for the leaf pipe, lead pi lead pipe. And then your trombone's assembled. Now the way you would hold it is you want a thumb and two pink fingers on this first brace right here, your slide brace. If you have a trigger, you want your thumb on the trigger. But if you have a pea shooter, you want it um, on this brace up here which there's not enough room for my thumb because of all the extra tubing for my trigger. Um, then you want to make like a gun, like that, like, like that, and then you want to curve this finger around, and then just go, do it. Now first, now we're going to actually not, we're going to take this apart now. Screw, just basically reverse the steps. When you place in your mouthpiece, by the way, you want to put it in and twist. Don't put it in and go like that because it'll get stuck. Just twist. Then, when you take it out, just twist again and pull out, and it comes out simple and easy. If you have um, jammed it in there, then you, there's a special tool, or you just need strength to just use pressure and just pop it out. But otherwise, just try not to get it stuck because then you have a mess unless you have one of those tools. So first we're going to clean the mouthpiece. We're going to use our water bottle to rinse it out. Drips a little bit all rinsed out and I recommend using the polishing cloth and not the grease cloth because 
And even if you just want um, an, like a, a paper towel or something, or like your shirt, just to, to wipe that right there. And then you take your mouthpiece brush and you just stick it through. Make sure it goes out the end. You can turn it all around and get it all clean. You can even do that and just make sure it gets all good and clean. So then your mouthpiece is clean. Also, if you're going to be using a mouthpiece that someone else is using, make sure you have the mouthpiece cleanser. And also, all this stuff you can find at your local music store, or you can just get it online. This is just a water bottle, but it says T-Bone Bottle on it. I think that's maybe, maybe backwards, maybe not. But, this came in a, um, this came in a, uh, Kit. It also came with the tuning slide grease, the, the snake, the mouthpiece brush, and the cleaning cloth. And also came with some grease for your just regular slide. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to clean our slide. Kind of. Not really. I'm going to tell you what you need to do. So first what you need to do is unlock the slide lock. Unlock the slide lock and don't drop it. And then just slowly take off the outer slide and set that to the side. Now, the inner slide is very, very, very fragile and very expensive. So you don't want to hit it on anything. You don't want to, you want to try avoiding touching it. And you're going to take your grease cloth or your dirty cloth. For me, I just used an old glasses clean cleaner. And you're just going to take it and you're just going to wipe off the whole inner slide, get all that grease off. Um, so then, once you've got that all that off, you want to take your slide of mi slide of mix or your uh, grease, and just if you have slide of mix, just kind of a little bit, not much. Um, or if you have slide oil, even just a little bit. But if you have that grease, just get a little bit, kind of smear it down, around, but not too much. Then you want to take your outer slide, and you always, if you hold it up, the longer pipe goes below it, and you know, of course, the water key is on the bottom. So you take whatever pipe goes with what side of the outer slide, and you're just going to take it and move it in up and down and all around lubricating that inner slide and do it the same on the other side then once you get all the grease on there and lubricated it's going to be nice and greased but you want to make sure that it will keep moist so then you put the bottom of the outer slide on the floor you pull up your inner slide right before it, it, it comes off take your water bottle and just spray it both sides and then take it and just get all that water and let it move in there and every time you open your horn and you go to play your horn make sure you spray your slide to keep it make sure it's nice and um, wet and moist. So the next thing we're going to do is um, clean the inside of our slide. By that we use our snake. This is a well, like a wire covered in plastic with brush on, on both ends. And you just you know stick it down all the way till it hits the bottom and then you just take it out and that brushes it like that and you do it on the same side like that so that's what you do with the snake then yes the next thing we don't need our slide anymore so now we need our bell for this part, you want to lay the bell flat, 
and this is rotor lubricant or rotor oil the rotor oil will have a needle on the end looking thing this is french this is for french horn um mainly for french horn you'll find this in the french horn section but sometimes you'll find it in the trombone section you're gonna need um because because you do have a rotor with your trigger you are going to need rotor oil to lubricate that trigger so you just take the cap off this cap right here and screw it take the, the plug off the end of the rotor oil and just squeeze it a little bit not too much on that rotor close it up and then just work it in by pulling the trigger down up and down up and down up and down work it in get it all lubricated in there and the last part we're going to do is you want to hang on, take your polishing cloth and polish your horn try not to touch if you want it to look good just polish it, make it look nice. Hey Mackenzie. Just polish it and it'll look good. And you want to do that on your slide too. And your horn is clean. Okay, thank you Mackenzie. Bye. So, um, that is how you clean the horn. Some tips is make sure you don't bang it, don't dent it. Uh, excuse me. Um, make sure it's in tune. The tuning slide should never be all the way in. The tuning slide should never be all the way in. Also, another tip is first position should never be all the way in. Um, thank you for watching this video. Hope this is useful to you and hope you can make sure your horn is nice and clean and please keep playing your horn and subscribe, subscribe, yes, subscribe, yes. subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. <coughs> no, don't do that. So subscribe. Also, like I said, the the deal. Sorry, that I didn't mean to click that off. Anyway. The deal I said was, um, if we can get to 10 subscribers, then I will, um, I will post a bonus video, which is going to be a bonus, and, I just said that, anyway, it's going to be, uh, behind the scenes of Coffee Fish for Life, and give you some secrets, and some, you know, behind the scenes footage, and, Make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already, but if you have and you still want that bonus video, please share this with your friends and let them subscribe so then we can get there quicker. And um, like I said, the more you subscribe, the more videos will keep coming. I've stayed at 7 for a while. If we can get to 10, that would be awesome. It will be a reward and it will be well worth it. Thanks, guys.